thoracic extension cows and rounds. You need an oversized medicine ball, flat bench with nothing underneath, and some type of prop underneath the ball so you can put your forehead on the ball. What we're going to do from here is hold the dowel about shoulder width apart. We're going to place our elbows on top of the bench to start, then move our knees back. And then from here, we're going to go into a passive stretch in thoracic extension, bend the elbows, hold and breathe. Now, my forehead is slightly pressed on the medicine ball. I don't want to press it further into the medicine ball. I just want it to be a resting point. From here, what I'm going to do is passively hold for about two minutes. After about two minutes of inhaling for five, exhaling for 10, really relaxing this position, I'm going to start pressing the elbows into the bench at about 10% effort. I'm going to start irradiating throughout my entire body, squeezing the dowels, squeezing my biceps and triceps, pressing the lats down and elbows into the bench, creating all that tension, 20% to 30% throughout the lats especially, and then start pressing maybe the toes into the ground and knees into the ground and squeezing the abs 40% to 50, and then 60 to 70. And once you hit 70, you should know if you can go further or if that is your 100. Sometimes you skip to 100. So you hold at 70, and then climb all the way to 100%, up 10 seconds, squeezing all that tissue. Now you're giving all your effort in your safest capacity. And then after 10 seconds of effort, we're going to try to lift the elbows off of the bench, going deeper into back or thoracic back extension. So going the opposite way. Now, the elbows might not move at all, and that's fine. Or you can kind of cheat and get a little bit closer and try to lift maybe one elbow off or both elbows off at the same time. If you can't, that's no big deal. Trying to shoot those elbows up toward the sky. Trying to go deeper into thoracic extension. And relax. I'm going to your passive stretch and holding and relaxing. shoulder flexion, pals and rounds. I'm going to go into a child pose position with the dowel on top of the medicine ball. I'm going to press the dowel down and stretch out my shoulders here for about two minutes. And then after that, I'm going to start pressing the dowel into the medicine ball from zero to 100%. Then my pals effort will be trying to lift and hover away from the dowel. Now, if they don't move, that's fine. You might want to get a lighter or a smaller ball to see where your end range really is and then slowly progress from there. 